Hey, how you going? So today I have a big announcement. If you guys are interested, keep watching. All right, honey bun, so we are back with another video and I'm so excited because we just have so much great Miss to discuss so <laughs> i'm the courtney williams if you're new here my channel is meant to document my journey as a makeup artist traveling around the world with the hopes to inspire you to follow your dreams as well now with that being said let's jump on in because i know you guys are super excited especially if you've been following me on snapchat or following my insta stories you guys already knew like i was dropping hints that i had like some big news for you guys so today is it <laughs> So basically what's happening is that I'm leaving Hanoi, y'all. I'm moving. So I am moving to Ho Chi Minh City. I know, it sounds crazy because you guys remember me talking about why I chose Hanoi over um, Ho Chi Minh. So I'm gonna just go over everything of like why I'm, why I'm doing this, what kind of happened and just go from there. So. I don't know, y'all know I kind of had a moment of like, I was kind of depressed a little bit at one point here. Oh, like over the last few weeks, I've kind of been going back and forth with like feeling good and then feeling like really low. And one particular night, like I just was feeling real, like just down and out y'all. And it's crazy because it's like when I'm in those really down and low places is when I really kind of have like real conversations with myself or you know, just real conversations with like God and my spiritual team, you know? Like I'd be like, what is going on? Why am I feeling like this? What do I need to do, you know? And so I just basically asked myself like, you know, like, are you happy here? Like, cause I, you know, like that's important to me to be able to live in my happiness is important to me. And when I was thinking about it, I just was like, I'm not happy here. Like, I'm not happy here at all. And I feel like I really have been trying. And I think I've given Hanoi like its best shot. But at the same time, when I say that I'm not happy, it's like a couple of different elements that have been going on. It's not necessarily that I don't like Hanoi because I like Hanoi and I love like the vibe of Hanoi. Like I would definitely come back here to visit. Would I come back to live again? I'm not quite sure because I feel like by the time I leave Vietnam, I probably will have reached my limit with them for a moment. <laughs> so not sure about coming back here to live. But I think for me, when I came to Hanoi, I had specific expectations or like a specific idea of what I was thinking was going to happen, which for me, I was thinking, you know, I know that Hanoi is a little bit more of a chill city. Like it's. It's a city still, but it's like real chill, real laid back. And I love that vibe. And I just was thinking with that type of environment, and since they don't have a lot of things to like distract me, you know, like it's not really a lot of like hood ratchet nasty clubs here. You know, like it's nowhere that I'm really gonna go here and have a like amazing twerk session, you know, like just, Things along that line. I was thinking, you know, those things aren't really there, but it's still like a really cool, chill environment. I actually really loved it, so I'm gonna go there, and I'm not gonna have no distractions, and I'm gonna be so productive, and I'm gonna work this job, and I'm gonna save this money, and I'm gonna get it, okay? Like, that was my mind, my mindset. However, what I have realized about that plan was that I really didn't factor in how not having those quote unquote distractions would really affect my social life and how, you know, if it's not excitement within your social life, how that affects your productivity. And, you know, it's crazy because one of my really good friends, Eric, he actually has a vlog. His um, vlog is Minority Nomad, so go check him out. He was telling me this before I left. And it's not that I didn't heed his warning, but it was kind of like, you know, everybody kind of has to like go and live, live their own journey. They got to walk their own journey. So I came anyways, was like, you know, let's see how it goes. If it doesn't work, you know, 
doesn't work and I'll move forward. And um, it's just like, you know, I am feeling like I'm not like connected to anybody like that here. Like as far as like my friend circle. Now I know I'm solo and the solo journey is cute, but at the end of the day, I still have to have balance because I am like a little bit of an introvert and an extrovert. So when I want to be to myself, yeah, let me do my thing, get out of my face. But then when I want to join in and be social, I want to be able to have that option to be social. And it's like... I recently just met some girls that I really kind of think are super cool, but just like connecting with them on a deep, deep level, we aren't quite there yet. You know, like for them, I kind of, you know, I really enjoy them, but I feel like our relationship is one that would need to grow to get there. Whereas, you know, sometimes you meet people where you just click with them and you just have that deep connection off the bat and it just feels like you have known them. And the crazy thing is like, I normally meet that one person in every single country that I go. Like, I don't have to have a big group of people, but every single country that I have been to, even here, because you guys remember Farrah was here, but she just left and, and went back to America. But when she was here, like, I felt really deeply connected to her. You know, just that person who's like your partner in crime, the person you finna paint the city with, you know? So I've had that every place. And then I got here, me and Thera had that, but then she left. And so it's been this long period of time where I haven't had it and I've been kind of like depressed. So it's like, I need that backing. I need that backing. So I feel like Ho Chi Minh would be better in that aspect because I have like friends there already who I have that deep connection with. Like for instance, Zena is there, which also she's a YouTuber. So that's a cute plus as well. You know, we can help motivate each other and you know, get on our YouTube grind. But I need that right now in my life. Like I can't really be here without that supportiveness. And then I think, you know, I'm just a little bit bored with the scene because it's like, you know, I've had, I had fun, we did some cute stuff, but I feel like I've done everything that it is to do. And it's like, I don't want to drink beer every week. I don't like, that's not my, like, that's not my thing. That's not my vibe. Like I'm not like a big like beer drinker. Honestly, I really don't drink that much unless it's like, I'm going to really turn up, you know, but the vibe for me is just off of like what my personality is a bit. So I think I might have been over ambitious in what I was expecting. Not really thinking like, you know, grinding it out sometimes. You got to just make sure you have balance because if you don't, you know, it really will affect the work. And I'm seeing that where it's like, you know, I'm having a hard time uploading and things like that. So... I had that moment and then as well I was when I was thinking about like what is gonna make me happy I realized too like you know I've, I've been scared to do makeup again you know just because you guys know like I had to stop doing it well I didn't have to but I did that's what I did I stopped I ran out of money and I kind of stopped doing makeup so that I could focus on building my finance my finances and in doing that you know time has passed and that time that has passed has kind of created fear within me and i need to rebuild my makeup confidence like i have still have the skills like i still do like my makeup and i i still got it but it's like just having that la that time period that has you know gone by my makeup confidence has kind of gone down so i just felt like I need to be able to get into an environment where I can actually work because in Hanoi, I knew coming here, like I wasn't gonna be able to do makeup because like the creative community isn't big here. Like even makeup artists, like not even makeup artists, but like connecting with creatives, like photographers, hairstylists, it is not a lot here. Like even using like some of the data faces like Model Mayhem and things, like they had like, I wanna say eight people and like, nobody's work was really that that you know worth working for free for you know because it's like if i'm gonna work for free to build something then i want to make sure that i'm getting quality images so just didn't work for me creatively socially and i just think honestly i'm a bit bored and i think all of that is kind of playing into you know me not really feeling as happy as i know i could be and just you know affecting my productivity so even though I didn't like Ho Chi Minh the first time I went, 
The second time I went, I did have fun with Xena, but I didn't really stay long enough because you guys know I did the Mekong Delta tour, so I didn't stay long enough to kind of give it another chance. So I'm just gonna hop over and I am going to go there and just see how it goes. And if it goes well, I will stay for, you know, like I have a plan of how long I'm thinking about staying. If it goes well, I will stay for that period of time. Well, I have a plan of like, if it's not so hot, this is how long I'm gonna stay. But if it goes well, I'm willing to stay X, Y, Z. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I definitely just wanted to come on and let you guys know that this is what's happening. I am leaving Ho Chi Minh. I am going, I mean, not Ho Chi Minh. I am leaving Hanoi <laughs> and I am moving to Ho Chi Minh. So yeah. So this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, and as always, remember, people will stare, make it worth their while, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.